Have you ever wondered about the origins of the universe? This question has fascinated and perplexed humanity for centuries. Many of us are familiar with the Big Bang Theory, the idea that the universe began as a hot, dense point nearly 14 billion years ago. But as enlightening as it is, the Big Bang Theory has its limitations. It doesn't fully explain why the universe appears to be the same in all directions we look, or why different regions of the universe have the same temperature. Enter Cosmic Inflation, a theory proposed to address these very puzzles. Cosmic inflation suggests that a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light. It's an idea that not only adds a new layer to our understanding of the universe's birth, but also opens up a whole new world of questions. But what is cosmic inflation, and how does it fit into our understanding of the universe? Cosmic inflation, in essence, proposes a rapid, exponential expansion of the universe. This isn't just any expansion. We're talking about an unfathomably fast growth spurt that occurred in the blink of an eye, relatively speaking. In less time than it takes a photon to cross a proton, the universe expanded by a factor of at least 10 to the 28th power. That's a 1, followed by 28 zeros. The scale of this expansion is truly mind-boggling. Now, you might be wondering, when did this cosmic inflation occur? The answer takes us back, way back, to the earliest moments of the universe's existence. We're talking fractions of a second after the Big Bang. At this point, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. But then something incredible happened. This primordial universe underwent an exponential expansion, stretching and smoothing itself out in the process. This period of inflation had a profound impact on the universe as we know it today. It set the stage for the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. It determined the large-scale structure of the cosmos, the distribution of matter, and the patterns we see in the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's like the universe had its own, incredibly brief, growth spurt, shaping its adolescence and eventual adulthood. But why did this inflation happen? What drove this sudden and dramatic expansion? The answer lies in the realm of quantum mechanics and the existence of a hypothetical scalar field known as the inflaton field. The energy of this field is thought to have driven the rapid expansion of the universe. The theory of cosmic inflation was not born in isolation. It was a solution to several cosmological puzzles. It was an answer to questions about the uniformity of the universe, its flat geometry, and the absence of exotic relics like magnetic monopoles. Inflation provided a framework that could explain all these features and more, marking a significant milestone in our quest to understand the cosmos. To understand these puzzles, we need to go back to the mid-20th century. Back then, scientists were grappling with the mysteries of the universe's origins. The Big Bang Theory, which proposed that the universe began as an extremely hot and dense point, was widely accepted. However, it had its share of problems. For instance, it couldn't explain the uniformity of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang. Nor could it account for why distant parts of the universe, which hadn't had time to interact, had similar properties. Enter the inflation theory. It was born out of the mind of a young physicist named Alan Goethe. In the late 70s, Guth was pondering the behavior of subatomic particles in the early universe. He realized that a phase transition, a change in the state of matter, could have triggered a rapid, exponential expansion of space-time. This inflation would have smoothed out the universe, explaining its uniformity. Guth's idea was revolutionary, but it wasn't without its flaws. For one, it predicted that the universe should be filled with exotic relics called monopoles, which were not observed. It took a few more years and the contributions of other scientists like Andre Linde and Paul Steinhard to refine the concept. They introduced new inflation, a variant of Gutt's theory that resolved the monopole problem and other issues. The birth of the inflation theory was a momentous event in cosmology. It provided a plausible explanation for the early universe's extreme conditions and its subsequent evolution. It gave us a new way to understand the universe's large-scale structure and the distribution of galaxies. But most importantly, it offered a potential solution to the riddles that the Big Bang Theory left unsolved. The theory was fascinating, but it needed confirmation. 
And so, the quest to validate cosmic inflation began, paving the way for some of the most exciting discoveries in modern cosmology. The evidence for cosmic inflation comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation, often abbreviated as CMB, is the oldest light in our universe, a relic from a time just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. But what makes it so special, you may ask? Well, the CMB is like a cosmic baby picture. It shows us the universe at its most infant stage, long before galaxies and stars began to form. And it's in this picture that we find the fingerprints of cosmic inflation. You see, cosmic inflation predicts certain characteristics about the CMB. For one, it should be incredibly uniform. And indeed, when we look at the CMB, we see that it is strikingly homogeneous, with temperatures that vary by less than one part in a hundred thousand across the entire sky. This uniformity is a direct testament to the rapid, exponential expansion of the early universe under cosmic inflation, effectively smoothing out any initial irregularities. But that's not all. Cosmic inflation also predicts tiny fluctuations in the CMB's temperature. These fluctuations, or anisotropies, are a result of quantum fluctuations in the early universe. They were stretched to macroscopic scales by inflation, seeding the formation of all the cosmic structures we see today, from galaxies to clusters of galaxies. And guess what? When we measure the CMB, we indeed see these tiny temperature fluctuations, exactly as predicted by cosmic inflation. Even more impressively, the detailed statistical properties of these fluctuations match incredibly well with the predictions of cosmic inflation. This is no small feat. It's like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack, a testament to the predictive power of the cosmic inflation theory. So, cosmic inflation has passed the test of observational evidence. But what drives this rapid inflation? That's a question that takes us deep into the world of quantum physics and high-energy particle interactions. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's marvel at the grandeur of cosmic inflation and the stunning evidence it has etched across the cosmic microwave background radiation. The mechanisms driving cosmic inflation are deeply rooted in quantum mechanics. This might sound intimidating, but it's not as complex as it seems. Let's break it down. Cosmic inflation is essentially a field theory. This means that it involves something we call a field, which can be thought of as a type of energy that exists everywhere in space. For cosmic inflation, that's the inflation field, also known as the scalar field. This scalar field in the early universe was packed with energy, leading to a rapid, exponential expansion of space. Now, here comes the quantum part. In the quantum world, there's a principle called uncertainty. It means that we can't precisely know both the position and the speed of a particle at the same time. This principle leads to something called quantum fluctuations. These are tiny, random changes in the energy of the scalar field. Because of the rapid expansion during inflation, these quantum fluctuations were stretched out across the universe, creating regions with slightly more or less energy. But why does this matter? Well, these small variations in energy density are incredibly important. They're the seeds of all the structure in the universe. You see, areas with slightly more energy would have a stronger gravitational pull. Over billions of years, this would attract more and more matter, eventually forming stars, galaxies, and clusters of galaxies. So the cosmic inflation theory gives us this beautiful picture. From the quantum fluctuations in the energy of a scalar field, we get the large-scale structure of the universe. It's like a grand cosmic symphony, where the notes played by quantum mechanics in the early universe have shaped the cosmic orchestra we see to see today. The implications of cosmic inflation are profound, fundamentally altering our understanding of the universe's origin, structure, and ultimate fate. It's a testament to the power of science that we can trace the origins of galaxies billions of light years away back to tiny quantum fluctuations in the first moments of the universe's existence. Cosmic inflation has challenged and expanded our understanding of the universe. It's more than just a fleeting moment in the grand timeline of the cosmos. It's a key that unlocks profound truths about the universe's origin and structure, and even hints at its ultimate fate. Cosmic inflation suggests that the universe we observe is but a tiny speck within an unimaginably larger cosmic landscape. 
It's like glimpsing a single grain of sand on an endless beach. This concept, while humbling, also opens up exciting possibilities for understanding the fundamental nature of reality. Scientists are tirelessly working to refine and test the predictions of cosmic inflation. They're probing the universe's early moments, searching for the subtle fingerprints of inflation in the cosmic microwave background and the distribution of galaxies. As we continue to push these boundaries, we're not just learning about the universe's past, but also shaping our understanding of its future. As we continue to explore the nature of reality, who knows what new insights we may uncover about our universe.